Everyone knows Itachi Uchiha from Naruto, but what if you could actually become him in 3D? In this series, I'll show you exactly how I transform myself into Itachi Uchiha step by step inside Blender. So we will start with fresh Blender file and let's import our assets which we got from Sketchpad. So first I'm gonna go into import and GLDF. You probably won't see the float screen we got because I only set my recording to Blender scene. Sorry for that, but you know I often don't do that. So no problem. Now we got our first house. Let's bring one more asset called the alone can't make a little town we have in our scene. So we need one more and the pair of two will do the job. And with this two we are going to I mean I'm going to build the set with this two. So first we need a reference. So I'm gonna add an armature. A uh, human metal rig which give us accurate size of a human scale and with this uh, we can go to front view first let's set them in a way that our character isn't blocked and we can twist it 90 degrees like this maybe not like this but this yeah this is okay and let's oh it's underneath the surface so let's bring it up because the house has a platform wooden platform around it so it's need to be up on the ground and with this we can build our scene so I'm just thinking about how the composition will work and where should I start uh, I mean, let's get the camera and here we can see First the ground so we can calculate the distance and have something so our uh, objects can stay so now go to front view and let's add a camera control alt 0 for quickly snap your camera to the view and GZ to move it up but I press alt G to bring it into the center of the scene and then bring back by G and middle mouse button to move it on the uh, uh, normal axis or you can press the axis like X or Y and then let's see here we go the composition looks fine from I mean from here I think things look good but let's rotate like this is the main part if we set it everything properly here then everything goes well in the end so for that we just need to make a good composition so let's select every stuff and duplicate it cause I'm not gonna make a mess with uh, adding different buildings but if we can utilize these tools then two houses then it's a cherry on top because uh, doing a LD duplicate will make it easier for the system to compute it uses less memory because we are uh, using a linked duplicate instead of shifty which creates an entirely new duplicate which also uh, get uh, the more memory space in your drive so keep in mind that so from here this house looks nice there and let's duplicate this so select this and right click select hierarchy so it will select every object and let's say we slightly see this and first let's just finish with this one because why not by uh, pressing shift z when you move uh, if you press shift z you can just move on the x and y axis so the object don't go on up and down and now right click select hierarchy let's first move this into the new collection so everything fit and fine and yes we made two uh, okay so i actually did created a collection of that house and i imported that collection so you know whenever you create a collection your object stay in the uh, as far as it stay from the center that will be their origin of the new collection but i see that i just get back to without the collection so no more collection I just uh, duplicated that to 
keep our usage minimum and now we need some layout cause I can't edit and see at the same time so in the new window we will just see our view through the camera so we can work around with our composition and for the mm -mm -mm. let's see okay so in this window we are going to do something which is where it is yep the passport thing this will just uh, get rid of the side area out of the camera let's make this uh, window clean so we can see everything nice and clean okay let's move it a bit here okay and now we can do is where we are we were selecting our houses with the hierarchy so select hierarchy and just alt okay uh, this one here uh, i guess yeah here looks nice just rotate it so it not look exactly the same let's hide it behind this one maybe here it looks cool far away one more here just fill up the background because after a few houses we can't see anything so that's totally cool and also we have fog in the scene so you know you see as little as possible in the background yeah so for that i just did oh uh, that was very stupid of me i can extend this plane why i duplicated i don't know maybe habit because i'm duplicating the house <laughs> a lot so that's why i just duplicated the plane as well now we need a cube this cube will be our boundary yeah there is some use of the cube but before that let me just get the thing correctly I mean we need the asset browser because with the asset browser we are bringing some assets which save us time from modeling the assets so here in the asset browser I'm gonna search for some assets that will fit into the scene so that we don't have to model that I mean um, I'm thinking of adding a wall just next to this house and that other house with the platform in between them so it feels like a pathway from there and we can see houses in the back so that is uh, like uh, uh distance and a gap a gully here and the back area and here you can see i'm scrolling fast because i search a lot of the asset i'm finding and it took some time that's why i speed up the process so after scrolling through a lot i got this pillar from someone's asset pack i got a while ago and this looks good i Think we can make a wall out of it so let's just switch to shader editor first to fix the texture cause the scan texture is too dark to begin with so I'm just going to start by using this uh, texture and going to add a hue saturation value that will give us uh, option to make the texture lighter so we'll decrease the saturation increase the value and it's now look more like a old uh you can say uh railing outside the houses uh they have in japan if you see in doraemon you know that there are like this uh cemented uh, walls around the houses so with this i'm going to add a cube and here will delete some portion of the corner from here and some from here cause their text size is not looking good and with the bool tool enable 
I can select the cutter and the object and control minus and that's it now I'm gonna apply the modifier and delete the cutter object and in the solid view we got our piece to work with and now for the wall you know that wall is uh, a bit height and less uh, like long so I'm just gonna scale this object to match that proper location so we'll place it here and I'm going to increase its uh, let's say okay bring back our window where we can see how we plan uh, added the walls now we can just increase its height on the z-axis to make it look like a wall and I guess uh, a bit more height will be fine let's see make it normal and duplicate alt to link duplicate it as you can see the bottom left corner it says duplicate link we share the same data with the mesh and here i got this wall and now mm, some things look a bit off maybe we can fix it manually because the wall looks uh, a little longer from one edge so i'm just gonna make them intersect with each other to make a section in the walls you can actually uh, do anything with any object if you have a vision like uh, for inspiration you have seen Ian Hubert if will not go check out his tutorial this guy is a like genius he uses anything he built for anything I just love that that how it creates uh, the stuff you should definitely join its patreon it's not a sponsor but uh, it got some cool stuff which just change your perspective of modeling things so yeah that's cool now I'm gonna bring back more assets so for this uh, sorry for not showing the window but I got the asset and here is the asset I download selected pole from sketchpad and I'm gonna place this pole in the scene where the Itachi of our scene will stand not stand sit the the most iconic pose you will give from here so I'm just gonna place it here and I guess we need to make this top part a bit bigger so first I'll go to edit mode and delete this stuff which we don't need so we can just select everything by just track selecting and delete vertex and we are good and I think the pole is looking a bit small for a person to stand so I'm just going to increase its diameter first I will just go and merge by distance so the every vertex is merged and now we can change the texture as well because uh, the pole in the scene is cemented and this pole is wooden so I'm just gonna add some material we already have in our scene and modify that material let's see uh, click on the new material to duplicate it so with this duplicated material I'm going to assign this to the pole and I'm going to change its uh, uh, texture here so this is the same material of the pole I just uh, like I need to preserve that detailing but make it look like concrete or cemented instead of wood so as we did with the walls we are going to use same new saturation and let's I forgot to assign I guess and the saturation done that is a good job I guess we can leave it to that and it's looking good in the sea as well let's see what we can do 
Yes, should we start? So, in the render view, we can see. I mean, the pole is looking. Okay, first we'll name this and rotate it to match the perspective of our vision and also for the composition as well. So, yep, this is looking fine. What else we can update to make it look good? So now we'll start with the character. So I scan myself in a cosplay with the Kiri Engine Pro, and the model came out pretty good. I did the head scan separately. Then I brought everything into Blender, and as you can see, the head is high quality because I did a separate scan. And for the costume, I just got some stuff around and did what we can but I did the scan outside of my house for a better lighting and with this I just exported this model as an FBX and uploaded it onto a uh, Mixamo and then it's time to rig the character so just you just place these things where it shows and you will get a cool looking rig that works so this is a pretty good technique to animate your character if you don't know animation I don't know any clips and uh, stunt myself so I just use Mixamo for that that's how I got the animation in the character in the scene if I have uh, like uh, know how to do the, this stuff I should have probably done it myself so after that I got this cool looking animation of uh, flipping and doing this hit effect which I'll use in the animation and now I bring that character to my scene and here you can see that the character is pretty big so I'll just go and uh, just do this pose this character so this pose I created manually you just have to uh, use the rigging tool uh, in render so with the uh, normal rig like we use a meta human rig uh, with the rigify add-on you just enable that and in the rigging setting you will find generate rig so it will create this wire rig so you can pose your character easily or you can do with the phone I just did this because it is convenient because it get this you can see moving uh, hands etc uh, like the IK setup full so you can work with that so for this particular scene I used a separate model and I used this another separate model for the other stuff which has the animation this one just has this sitting pose and not moving which I did manually and I only got that for took me some time so you just have to like you know basic rigging stuff and posing your character then you can just do it super easy and simple and it's just now time for posing our character onto the pole here you can see I mean it's in the real life this pose is actually tough to sit like this and in the uh, like a 3d and animation it's also hard to just get this right with this IK cause the issue I already faced with the IK is that uh, the elbow and the knee is joint were rotated uh, differently not like they just like a reverse IK they face backward so I just fix them manually so here you can see how i did pose my character it's not looking good because uh, the low bar i was wearing was too uh, down so it's just uh, down from the middle so it just got this weird looking shape and as you can see i just dragged this knee down and that issue occurred so this is the problem i faced and i just left it like that because uh, it's it will be a dark scene so you can just hide some mistake that also an option if you are doing stuff like that so let's just tweak and pose our character so he will match with the posing of our character we will finish with this first tutorial and in the next one we will be decorating uh, the area with the assets and also doing some animation of this character and fix add the lighting and all and the background so yeah that's it for this tutorial until next time